This is a typical weekday morning for me, where I drag my sleep-deprived self up after snoozing my alarm a couple of times. Then I realize I need to make breakfast for the family as well as prepare my daughter's lunch for school. But there's honestly nothing a mom can't do as long as she has her morning coffee. This video is not going to be a fancy one. Consider it a compilation of snippets I've recorded in the morning while preparing my daughter's lunchbox, which for the most part have been in these Benko boxes that my sister gave my kids. This is not sponsored, but I do love these containers because they're leak proof, has many compartments, and is a fun way to present your children's lunch. So let's cut to the chase and I'll show you some quick lunches I've been putting together in the morning. For convenience, I cook up some sushi rice in my Zoji Rushi rice cooker the night before school. You can add seasoned rice vinegar if you want, but my kid doesn't mind rice without it, so I omit it to save some time. I think I've owned this bamboo sushi rolling mat for 20 years. I usually cover it with saran wrap to prevent rice from getting stuck between the cracks. And I'm not a professional, obviously, but I use this to make a quick avocado or California roll for my baby girl. I slice up the avocado, and I know this one's overripe. Cut the nori sheet in half. Spread some sushi rice on the nori sheet. Center the strips of avocado or your fillings of choice, then roll and press to tighten. I usually make about two rolls for my daughter. Simply cut it up into eight pieces, and here's my amateur avocado roll. I also bought these onigiri molds for another lunch option using sushi rice. Again, check out the description below for links to the actual products. Mm -hmm. Mommy's doing a video of your lunch. These molds are super easy to use. Add some sushi rice with or without seasoned rice vinegar. Add your filling or fillings of choice in the center of the sushi rice. Here I am using tuna, which my daughter had specifically asked me not to combine with mayo, if you're wondering. Top it off with more rice, as well as furikake, sesame seeds, or other condiments you'd like. Make sure you compact everything into the mold, then press it down tight with all your might, with the cap that it came with to form the perfect triangular shape with rounded corners. Once all the ingredients are tightened up, Pop the onigiri out, wrap it with some nori cutouts, and voila! I think I might have used the wrong side of the nori sheet here, but you get the gist. Along with the onigiri, I'm adding some tangerines and some avocado chunks in case you want to pair them with the tuna. It used to bug me when one compartment isn't filled with something, but I've learned to let it go! I've also filled onigiri with avocado, salmon, crab meat, teriyaki chicken, and spam. The lunchbox is usually returned pretty empty, which makes this mom feel like she's accomplished her goal. Especially when all these fresh fruits that I add into her lunchbox are also devoured. I also try to give her healthy snacks for snack time, but occasionally let her indulge in some Oreo cookies, popcorners, or chocolate chip cookies. You gotta let them live. Another quick lunch I've made using sushi rice are hand rolls. The ingredients used aren't any different from the rolls or onigiri. It's really just another way to present them. I like making hand rolls because they don't require any tools to make and they're easy to eat. And I'm showing you a successful attempt at rolling, but trust me, I've screwed up many times. To get the end of the nori sheet to stick, simply use a few grains of cooked sushi rice. And here are my two amateur hand rolls. They fit perfectly in the bento box and I threw in a bunch of tangerines so my daughter can get her daily intake of vitamin C. And into her lunch bag goes her lunch box along with a bag of goldfish, her snack of choice today. Has this mom given her California rolls from dinner takeout the night before? Yes. Has this mom went a healthier route and used brown rice to make onigiri? Yes. There are many alternatives, so get creative and share some of your ideas with me. Has this mom tried to come up with something different but failed? Mm-hmm. I've made this quick snack for Steve before and he told me it was good, so I figured I'd make it for my daughter one day. She likes sushi rice, she likes furikake, and she likes yuksong, so I figured I'd combine everything. 
well, into a ball. When she came home, I excitedly asked her how lunch was like I usually do, and she told me someone laughed at her lunch because it was yucky. Ugh, it broke my heart. She actually ate one of the pieces, but the other one was untouched, and I never made it again. What do you think? Is it yucky? Well, at least she ate all the pears and blueberries I left for her. When I run out of ideas or time, I make my daughter a PB&J sandwich. She's not the biggest fan of it because one of her best friends has a severe allergy to peanuts. So I ask her not to sit with her during lunch when PB&J is what's served. I mean, what is a mom to do? I do think PB&J, as boring as it sounds, is a great option. Peanuts provide many health benefits, essential antioxidants, healthy fats, protein, and fiber. While white bread is tastier, I like using whole wheat sliced bread because they're made with complex carbs that keep you full longer, and whole grain generally promotes better digestion and heart health. You're probably wondering why then are you making her spam? Well, why do we add bacon to everything? Three words. It is good. And that is exactly why I make my daughter spam once in a blue moon. I did feel mom guilt in the past, but when I see what's being served at school, I don't feel as bad. Here's a spam and egg sandwich, sort of a breakfast for lunch type of thing. And countering the effects of spam are sliced apples and blueberries. I remember this gloomy winter morning when I did a really bad job recording with one hand while making my kids lunch with the other. Just wanted to show you a fun way to present a sandwich. Flatten your bread with a roller. Add your filling on top of the bread slices. Then roll them up and cut them into pieces that resemble maki. With these sandwich rolls, I've added string cheese, crispy green grapes, and cashews. As you guys may know, my daughter loves noodles. Another quick lunch I make uses hazi min or Cantonese shrimp egg noodles. I bought this container to store my daughter's hot lunches. It keeps food hot for several hours, comes with a lid that can serve as a bowl, a spork, and very importantly, a button to release pressure built up from steam so it's easier for kids to open. For her lunch, I boil the hazi min according to package instructions, throwing in some fish tofu as well, then I drain and mix it up with some oyster sauce. Yep, what is it? This is a simple noodle dish that I grew up eating as a child. It was one of the first things that I learned to cook for myself, and it never gets old. To make it a more well-balanced meal for my daughter, I like to add some protein as well as some veggies. Another quick noodle lunch that I can easily whip up in the morning is butter pasta. Simply boil pasta of choice in salt water according to package instructions, drain then mix with butter and parmesan cheese. Okay. I store the pasta in the same container I've shown previously, then top it off with some air fried chicken nuggets. I've also made pasta with tomato-based sauce, although she prefers the butter pasta. Then pack her a bag of her favorite strawberries for snack time. Well, these are just several ideas I have in store for now. I hope this video was helpful to all the parents who are watching. And if you have ideas to share, make sure you leave them in the comment section below. Thanks for tuning in.